would love to have a workbench as a dining room table. But then I decided, well, it's not going to be a dining room table. I'm going to make it my wine drinking table. And it's going to look like a uh, workbench. Tavern height and made out of walnut that was felled and dried right here on the farm in Licking at Boone Creek Farm. And uh, it's going to be very exciting. We went through the design process today at the design center. And tomorrow is going to be the first day actually building this thing from scratch. The Design Center embodies everything that we believe at Easy Street to be true about design, that, that the aesthetic that we go for can be found in so many different uh, mediums, so many different materials. And so when we built this Design Center, we thought of everything from building community in a large space, having a conference, perhaps having a, a wine and cheese event, or completely repurposing this thing to, to turn into a wood shop or turn into a metal shop. In this case, over the last couple days, we turned uh, the, the Easy Street Design Center into a wood shop where we had some of the top craftsmen work alongside a artist in residence, if you will. Our own Brian King from, from Sun King Studios came uh, up to Boone Creek and spent three days with us to uh, work on a piece, it's, it's our first heirloom piece. It was inspired by uh, our mother when Brian visited her place here, just a, a few steps out the window here to the design center. And Brian said, wow, I, I, that piece is beautiful and I'd like to build something like it. So Brian went to town and had a bunch of designs done and conceptual pieces put together in his mind. And we sat down with, with uh, Johnny and uh, for the last three days, we went up to the black walnut stockpile of the wood that we harvested last June and found some beautifully cured pieces of, of black walnut. I don't even think I would do this for someone in my own family <laughs> that I love. <laughs> now, it's starting, yeah, to, now it's the, starting to hurt me a little bit. Still now, the, now, the guilt, now the guilt is coming. Last minute ask for Brian's heirloom walnut table. Kevin's getting ready to get the sawmill fired up. Came in just for us, which was so cool. Six four by four posts, legs for Brian's cool table that he's building. Thirty-five boards. Well, I remember cutting that tree down. Yeah, I do. I like um, that, I love knot holes. Or little holes don't that's bother you. No, I know I like that's in the top. That's okay, fine. great. First team one. Very cool. Oh man, he's mean looking. Yes, he would get you. That neck's about that long. Yeah. He'd take a finger off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that guy would. Yeah. You can look at his mouth and tell that. Yeah. He's got the spines on his tail. This is a prime example right here. Some, this is the first piece out of our design center. And while we're not woodworking people, we're not craftsmen per se in the wood field, uh, but we use and encourage people to use all materials to tap into uh, their design, their aesthetic. And then through that, we hope that people will be able to project something into, uh, into the industry, into the product that we're making. The entire piece, which is about 350 pounds, is com uh, comprised of solid uh, four by four walnut legs, mortise and tenon joinery on the feet, uh, incorporates a, this beautiful old uh, Ohio forged vise that with a uh, custom turned 
walnut handle uh, that Christian turned. And this is a wine table, right? So this, this is gonna be a centerpiece for Brian's house. And we're excited that someone like Brian wanted to come up and spend three times, not just telling someone how to make a product, but also working alongside the craftsman, doing the amount of work that he wants to do, guiding them in some of the process, all of us contributing along the way. And again, that's part of that creative process, that creative streaming that we really believe in so much at Easy Street. So this entire design center is going to be for that purpose. What we saw earlier up in the, in the design center, that was the epitome of a mature walnut turned into a usable, beautiful piece of furniture. So who knows, maybe next year, year after we'll be back here and we'll see these trees grow up another two, three feet. Wow, day three, it's all done, right? Yeah, almost. Almost. And after 40 years in the creative field, the design industry, being an artist, what was it like to be a uh, artist in residence for a wood wine table? Well, first of all, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not a painter. I'm not a, uh, unless there's a canvas involved. It was um, like hard work, you know. It was a lot of, a lot of toil, a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, a lot of, you know, decision making. But uh, at some point, it, it actually started to whip me, and I had to take a break. Well, I was inspired by your mother's table. I looked at that, and you have an old workbench that your father acquired from, I think, probably very cheaply at a yard sale or something. You have it in the middle of your kitchen, like, like a butcher block or a prep table or something. And I said, what a cool idea. And so it's been in the back of my mind, and, and finally I just made the decision that I, I want to make one. And then you were kind enough to say, well, I'll donate the wood, and, and I'll get my carpenters to help, and why don't you come up to uh, Boone Creek Farm and build it? And so we have. The arts uh, have no boundary. You know, it's two-dimensional art, it's three-dimensional art. You know, whether it's furniture, whether it's a painting, whether it's uh, writing a song or, or picking up a guitar or, I mean, uh, or picking up uh, or coming up with an idea to uh, design a table. It takes a lot of research and you, you, come, you, all the ideas, just like words in a song, come together eventually and then you have a finished piece. Yeah. Working with your hands is not, it's not a visual thing, it's more of a hands-on task. You know, there are carpenters who are artisans, who they're, they're master craftsmen, and, uh, and I'm not one of those, <laughs> so I know my boundaries. This is going to be an heirloom piece. Uh, this is something that you're never gonna see in a yard sale or, or on Hopefully eBay. Not. And, uh, and like, uh, you know, let them three fight over it when I'm gone because Get it'll out. be by my side for the rest of my life. Right. And I look forward to coming over and having a happy half hour there with you. Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers man. Good to see you. Thank you for all your help. <laughs>